guys, how are we doing? Um, welcome to Bedell's Productions. Uh, this is my uh, my new series that I've just recently started on my YouTube channel. Um, and uh, basically, the idea behind it is I want to get to know, um, all, well, certainly a lot more of my subscribers, you know, on a personal level, you know. And uh, I thought it'd be really kind of cool to, to maybe have the opportunity to start sort of interviewing uh, some of my, my fellow YouTubers out there. And uh, in this uh, in this uh, interview, I'm going to be uh, talking to the great King Ziggy. How you doing? <laughs> well, well, well. Thank you very much for having me as your interviewer. No, in interview. Same team. <laughs> you don't want me. <laughs> so how you how you doing anyway? I'm doing great, Ben. How about yourself? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. As I said, this is uh, this is fairly new for me, and it's uh, you know something that I want to sort of. It, oh, it's, uh, it's an experiment, really. I just want to, always oh, apart from anything else, I want to sort of get to know everyone. And, uh, you know, thank you very much for, for, for coming along and agreeing to do this with me. It's really, really good. So, uh, no so tell, us a little bit, tell us a little bit about your, your, your YouTube channel and, and what, what sort of, what, what, dis, what made you decide to start using YouTube in the first place? Okay, now are you talking about my King Siggy channel or my original channel? You're, Which you're, one do you want me to talk about? When you when you originally started on YouTube, what what made when you? When I start, started originally yeah. on um, YouTube, I was that was back in two thousand and six, and my original channel was called Cigar Dad, yeah. which I put a lot of videos on and everything else. I had a good following of subscribers, but that channel went and got hacked. Right. So. So what happened is then I opened up the um, Cigar Dad 11 channel, right. and I got a great big following out of that. But I figured um, I wanted to do something else instead of just – because I couldn't think of anything to really talk about, like blogs or anything or skits or anything like that. Yeah. So I opened up the, my King Singy channel since 2009, actually on April the 14th, 2009, and I started doing video responses on there. Hmm. And it just it seemed to be a hit because um, I got over I got a lot more from subscribers than I had on my other two channels and well as as I said it's a hit. Yeah, I mean the the whole the whole I mean you know I suppose sort of with regards sort of doing video responses I mean I mean I have I've sort of done a couple of things similar to that myself. Uh, it's like the whole tag game you know where you're tagging you know you get a tag. Uh, or you get like a ten question tag video, and you know you respond yes, to it. Yeah. That's something f that I that I've sort of done fairly recently in a couple of my previous video blogs, and I think it's really really cool idea. Um, you know. Yeah. Well, the reason why I started the video channel or the video response channel is because here it was more or less like, as I tell pe different people, anybody can type in good video and only watch maybe a minute or two of it, and type in oh good video and, and rate it. <laughs> myself I watched the whole video and I try and give a comment like maybe what could be improved on it or, or tell them exactly, exactly that it was a very good video and give them a thumbs up and everything else yeah yeah at least it proves to them that I did watch the whole video mm. not just because as I said anybody could type and say a oh, great video I said yeah. or something like that yeah yeah, and then you watch the whole thing. I mean, yeah, I mean the thing, the, th the thing with obviously with you, with you is obviously you you take the time and you make the effort to obviously watch each individual person's video, and um, you know you take the time to obviously comment on the video, and and I think that's really really good. As you say, I mean, you know, people can come across your videos, and they may not even watch all of it; they may only just flick through it. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I got people saying, please check out my video and give me your opinion. Give me a video response. I might not even be subscribed to them, but they want me to check out their videos and give them a video response. Yeah. Now, the ones I don't comment on are the gaming videos because I see so many gaming videos that um, um, people do. And why do you just comment on them? Because they play well all the same thing. Exactly. Like, uh, I can't exactly. say, oh, one, you're good, and the other one's better. I don't like, you know, so that's why I don't, that's why, I, so there's a few I don't comment on at all. I yeah. watch them, but I won't comment on them. Yeah. Now, the other the other question I've got for you, um, <coughs> now, obviously, are you, I'm assuming that you're a full YouTube partner, is that correct? Pardon me? No, I wasn't a YouTube partner. I've been, I've been monetized and everything else, but because I did have a strike on, my original account 
and because of the um, email address, it still counts as a strike. Well, that I'm was with like you. three, four years ago. But you know what? Where everybody's getting click bombed and stuff when they do become a partner, and if you don't like it's them, more hassle they click than bomb it's more hassle than I, yeah. It's more hassle. Yes, it's more hassle. So you know what? Yeah. I'm glad I'm not a partner because I well, don't need the money. No, I mean, I mean, the thing is, you know, I mean, I've I've started monetizing all some of my videos, but really, as you say, you can get click bombed and it can cause a lot of a lot of hassle, and you know, you don't need it really. Um, and plus, um, the money you get from YouTube is like you got have so many views. And, oh yeah, you've got to. And you, you got to make got your to, first. I mean, you got to make up yeah. to a hundred dollars before they even start yeah. paying you. So. Yeah, I nah. mean you've got yeah you've got you've got to you've got to you've got to get ahead of a lot of views and ahead of a lot of subscribers I think to earn any kind of decent money on YouTube you know. Mhm. Mm right. Like yeah. um and look at the ones that have gotten partnership like uh, I'm talking about from before, they I'm still making videos but they don't care about you they just care for themselves hmm. and yeah, they don't even care if you watch their videos anymore. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of these people that get really big on YouTube, I think it just goes to their head, and they and they kind of neglect the people that are kind of supporting them and are viewing their stuff, you know, and it, it just goes to their head, you know. So that's, that's my opinion anyway. Yeah, well, that's, um, that's the way I look at it too. But I'm not here to let it go to my head. If I became a partner, I'd still be the same person. I still don't do, do video responses to everybody and everything else. Yeah. But in a way, I'm glad I'm not a partner. I'm well, I mean, the thing is, I mean, I, I mentioned this to Jacob in my previous uh, interview that I did yesterday. Um, yeah, I and, Well, and also with other people like Chris as well, you know, Chris, if you're watching. Um, for me, I mean, I created my YouTube channel last year. I mean, I know I've had a couple of YouTube channels, um, as you well know. Yes, um, I do. Uh, but the thing is, for, for me personally, it's not, I, I'm not really, I'm not really too concerned with regards to the amount of subscribers I get and I think that my, my own opinion of it is if people like to if they like my videos and they like my channel and if they want to subscribe they can subscribe uh, for me I feel the same way for me for me personally I'm not in it to get loads literally I'm not in it to get thousands of subscribers and views and things like that I just enjoy blogging I enjoy the community on YouTube I enjoy making new friends like yourself uh, it's not about it's not about for me it's not about the subscribers although it's nice to get people that obviously want to come across and subscribe um, you know I just like to do video blogs so which which is a good thing um, like on my YouTube channel on my page itself my little introduction um, info yeah I got um, what I have there if you want to subscribe subscribe if not thank you for watching hmm. So I don't force anybody like to, um, you know, to subscribe if they want to subscribe because they like my yeah. videos. Go right ahead. Yeah. If you don't, hey, that's fine. One way or the other, I don't care. Yeah. And um, what's uh, what, what with with regards to your channel? What what sort of dis what made you decide to use the uh, the famous flag behind you in all your videos? Okay. I mean, obviously, I know you, I know you're from that part of the world, but um, okay. Well, everybody has a gimmick, okay? Everybody has yeah. a trademark. Now, when I first started doing the um, the channel, I didn't have the flag. I only had like the, the blank, like I'm um, well, the flag here. It was just like just plain white. So it looked kind of, to me, it looked kind of blah. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> everybody know. was used to me with a cigar and whatever, but I thought brighten up things. So I originally I had like a little. A little flag, just a like, just a little square rectangle one. Then um, I got the bigger one to cover up the whole thing. But all it is is a sheet which is attached to the ceiling, and because one it hides behind, it hides my bed. There, now you know the truth was behind that flag. It hides my bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, I only live in like a one room apartment. Right. Like, um, whatever. And over here they call it a bachelor apartment. I don't know if they call it the same over there in the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have similar here, yeah. Okay, okay. So, so it's, it's one, one big, big room. room. So what I do is just um, I put the sheet up and then put the flags in there. Yeah. And now that became my trademark. The cigar the or the prep, the uh, flag, and my mustache. It all seem to be my trademark. I'm my well, well, well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Now well, I do, well. I, I do, I do, I do have a, a request, and I don't know, um, I don't know, okay. I don't, 
I don't know whether you're going to agree to do this, but um, would I be allowed to see? Would I allow, would I be allowed to see the infamous Woody in the, in this video? Oh boy! <laughs> well, I put originally I put the Woody into retirement, but since you asked, I guess I can do it. But what I do is like a, as everybody, if anybody doesn't know, I have a blog sh TV show usually at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every night on blog TV except for the weekends. And when somebody comes into my room, somebody brand new, and they like the show and they add me as a friend, I usually indict them into the room, just like a college yeah. fraternity yeah. thing. Yeah. So of course I go through the whole rigmarole. And you did with me. And I you say, did with me on blog TV, which yeah, was I did awesome. Too. I did. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Um, but everybody who's going to be watching this video, I usually show my Woody right on cam here. That's what I do. And. I guess you want me to go through the whole ritual like I did okay. to you yesterday course, or the other day? Of course, it's got to be okay. done. <laughs> okay. Uh, Here we go, guys. Is, so. The famous uh. Woody is coming out. <laughs> well, this is what I do on my blog show, everybody. I show yep. up my Woody. He shows <laughs> off his Woody on his blog TV. But, <laughs> but, yeah, that's right. And, um, well, it's so big it's hard to get out, though. I oh, know. <laughs> you're, you're lucky. And, yeah, I've never been flagged. I've never been flagged, so hopefully this video won't get flagged either. <laughs> hopefully not, no. I hope you're ready for this. Jeez, look at there that. There you go, everybody. There's the King's Woody. There you go. The King's you Woody. You finally see the King's Woody right here on YouTube on this interview show. Awesome. Awesome. How did you, that is awesome. So, um, the, the, the uh, you know, the, the, the King's Woody... Um, when did you start, when, when did you come up with that idea and how long have you been using that? You say it's gone um, into retirement now, but, um, it's gone into retirement because I'm, since I started that worry thing, I have a few people who, um, actually pretty well copy me, like to see who had the biggest Woody. Right. Like, Bla like Blazing Eagle. He got, he's yeah. actually the, um, he's actually the leader. He has the bigger, he has the biggest Woody. But anyway. No, but just something I had. I had a, a piece of wood, and my uh, my blog show was getting kind of, well, anyway. It was kind of like a chill-out room, but I figured just for fun I, um, you know, show off my woody. Because my room on blog TV can get very raunchy at times. When well, you were there the other day, Ben, it was mild. Trust me. It was mild the other day, but it does get worse. So so was it was so so it was quite mild on comparison the other night when I was in in your That's in your correct. Blog TV. That's correct. It was quite mild, but you see, you see well, you see one, one of them who you see starts it up. He's on holidays. He took, he's taking a couple of weeks off. He's gone away for a while. So, but yeah. when he's in there, well, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, it does get wonder. But then I got Oinkness, who's one of my um, favorites in here. She can start up too if she wants to. Yeah. So. Now, with now for, the, for those of for those of you guys that are watching this um, that might be interested in uh, in checking out uh, King Siggy's blog TV um, show, uh, do you want to let everyone know how often you do these? Is it every evening that you do this? I do every evening, Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is midnight the UK time, four o'clock Pacific time. Now I don't know all the time zones, yeah, but. Uh, yeah. Those are the two main um, time zones I do know of. Mm -hmm. And um, what it is is I'm there Monday through Friday. I take I used to um, take the break on the weekends. And you want to come in and join, but you have to add me as a friend because if you don't add me as a friend, you won't be able to chat. Yeah, I mean, I as I said, well, I, I came into uh, into the, the the your your. Your chat, your show the other night, and I, because I, I, I completely forgot what my uh, screen name was, so I came in as a guest. So you probably didn't have a clue. <laughs> yeah, and that's first. why that's why you were probably kicked out. Um, yeah, well, you weren't kicked out because I, no, uh, because when you told me who think, you were, I let you. Yeah, yeah, but usually yeah. if guests come in when I'm doing the show, they automatically get kicked out because they should actually sign up for our account. Unless yeah. I know them, if they can let me know beforehand. I try to stop because I do have one enforcer in my room who comes in every night. He gets everybody out where you tell them not to or not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but no, my I mean, show no, is not... friends only. The reason why it was friends only is because 
you get trolled in the rooms. And they used to come in, post a stupid link, run out, or hey, they call you every name in the book, and etc. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm thinking of, uh, I mean, because I've got a Blog TV account, and uh, I'm kind of thinking of, of maybe starting my own show. Uh, what do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea? Uh, you can, if you want to interact with your subscribers or your friends, yeah. let's say from Facebook or yeah. YouTube and whatever, just let them know that you don't be on Blog TV, do your own show, and you might probably meet them. The only thing... If you want to see them, you have to invite them as a co-host, but you only can do one co-host at a time. Right, well, I'm with you. Yeah. And um, whatever. But um, it's also a good way, and here you you, know, you can answer their questions if they um, ask you a question or whatever. And I kill it's live, and they get to see you. Yeah, yeah, of course. No, I mean, it's really, really good. I, I mean, I used to use... Um, a few years ago, I used to use Ustream. I'm sure you're familiar with Ustream. Uh-huh. Ustream, Justin TV, Stick, I'm, I'm used to them all. You're used to them all. And do, do you tend to use Blog TV the most? I use Blog TV the most. But, but before I actually started with Blog, I actually was on a site called um, Live Video, which is no longer around. And I kept Blog as a backup um, site in case something happened to LV. Like, once in a while, they... It went, went down, down for maybe a day or so. So right. I, went, I moved in the show to um, Blog TV. But then when um, LV finally just decided to shut right down, I've been doing my shows on um, Blog TV all the time. Yeah, yeah. Now, for, for anyone out there that obviously... Um, oh, that may, be not, may not be familiar with uh, the King Ziggy's uh, um, YouTube channel. You do actually smoke a pipe as well, don't you? Not just a cigar. I do. I do. There's the pipe. I usually smoke, but I got oh. four or three more. And um, I alternate between the cigars and the pipe. But most of the people are used to see me smoke the cigar. Do you do you Does ever – do you, do, you, have you always been like a, a pipe smoker and a cigar smoker, or have you sort of smoked all of me cigarettes? I ne- <coughs> Excuse me. I never smoked <laughs> – boy, that was a word problem. Um, I never smoked cigarettes. Never have. Really? But because wow. um, and the way I got started with cigars is from watching old gangster movies like from the 40s and the 50s. Yeah. All yeah. the gangsters used to have the cigars in their mouth and go, "All right, yeah, you see, you don't get it, see, yeah." Oh, I like I'm that. The boss, That's good. You behave I, I, yourself. I like that impression. <laughs> <laughs> now, but you know- anyway. That's what got me started on cigars. Now, you know somebody else that used to be on the TV all the time that always used to smoke a cigar? He was a very, very... Um, let's say he was quite a cool uh, police officer in the States, and Colombo always had a cigar. Um, well, Lieutenant Colombo, well, he's um, he was a detective, and uh, he used to drive me nuts at uh, <laughs> times, like in Irish, like he would... Some, do something and he would turn around and go away and come back and say, oh, by the way, um, Mrs., um, the missus would like to have your autograph by any chance. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. You know, like that. Now, the thing that always used to amaze me about Columbo <laughs> is you never, ever, you never, ever got to see his wife, did you? No, you did not. And when they had a series called Mrs. Columbo, who was Kate Milgrew from the Star Trek series, uh, was the one who played his wife in uh, in her own series. Oh, okay. But that only lasted about a year. That only lasted about a year. So what's your... Uh, oh, and there was somebody else that used to smoke a cigar. Um, Kojak. Did you ever watch Kojak? Uh, not that much. But everybody says I'm a little more like this person. You better believe it. However, the shot of in my pajamas, I never know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, um, what's your what's your favourite TV show? What do you tend to like watching? You know what? I have. I to be honest with you. I haven't watched television for two years. Have you not? Really? Wow. Because um, you can get mostly everything on the internet now. Um, even if you don't see the whole show, you get to see clips of it of people who have watched the show and post on YouTube or somewhere. Yeah. But um, I can't be barred with the television. Mm. For the stuff that's on television now, forget it. 
Now, apart from obviously, um, your, you know, your, obviously your, your awesome uh, video tags that you do on your YouTube channel, what other hobbies have you got? Have you got any other hobbies that you enjoy? No, I do not. Actually, I think YouTube is my hobby when I do the mm. video responses. But yeah. um, I read, I go out for walks, if you want to call that a hobby. Well, going out for walks isn't really a hobby, but I read and I always find something to do. Hmm. Now, um, now I'm a smoker, and I have been a smoker for all the over over ten years now. And um, I, I don't know if he's thirty six, thirty seven years. Wow. Um, <laughs> I don't know if did you ever see my my video blog? I was um, I was doing a review on um, the uh, smokeless smoker cigarette. cigarette. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. I, saw I see all your videos. I see all of them. I might, as I said, I might not comment on them. But I do watch them and I always push like on the on your videos. Now, what do you think of this? Do you think this is a good idea? Well, if you want to quit smoking or cut down, I think it's a good idea. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, what's frustrating, I mean, I've not been able to use this, unfortunately, for the last few days because uh, the battery's run out on it. And when I bought this, it didn't actually come with a battery charger because it's got a rechargeable battery in it. So I'm waiting and I'm hoping that tomorrow my battery charger and my spare refills will arrive then i can start using it because i do actually want to cut down on the smoking mm -hmm. you know well i know they make one for cigars too yeah believe it or not they do have one for cigars but um now the, when i quit smoking believe it or not i quit smoking i only lasted three days and it would drive me nuts so i went way back i said what's the use of no die i'm not die it was um if it isn't cigars or smoking that don't kill me something else will yeah and you enjoy smoking cigar. I know, do. Pipe, so. And besides, if I give up smoking, everybody, what am I going to do? Change my name? Change exactly. Yes, exactly. The, so the, 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 the cigar is your, is your trademark here on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can't stop with that. Yeah, That's, you know. Now, uh, have you got any questions that you want to ask me? No, I do not, Ben. Um, I'd rather be the one who you interview because I like answering questions. Me, I can't think of any questions. Mm. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, interviewing you this evening, and uh, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. And uh, what I'm going to do um, is I'm going to leave the link to King Ziggy's channel in the video description down below. And uh, please go and check out his, uh, his YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, obviously, as King Ziggy um, would say himself, uh, if you like what you see, then please press that subscribe button. That's correct, and um, um, you will see a video response to this video from me. Cool. Okay, guys, well, until next time, uh, stay tuned for my next video, uh, which will probably be tomorrow, and I'm hoping that over the next few days I'll be able to interview um, some of my other fellow uh, YouTubers out there. Now, for anyone out there that may want to be interviewed, because uh, I would obviously like to get to know you guys and obviously promote your channel, uh, drop me a line. You can either, you know, send me a message through uh, Twitter or through YouTube. would be the easiest. Leave me comments down below. Let me know if you want to be interviewed. If you do, all you need to do is to download um, Oval, which is a free application, um, and you just it takes minutes to set up. You just need to create a free username, and uh, I'll be more than happy to interview you guys. It'll be really awesome. So, uh, with that being said, um, I'm going to. Uh, hand it over to King Siggy and let him say goodbye to you all. Well, everybody, I, uh, especially you, Ben, I thank you very much for allowing me to, to um, well, for your time to interview me. I really enjoyed it. And to all the subscribers, friends on YouTube, uh, thanks for watching. And also, subscribe to Ben. Thank you. <laughs> thanks very much, guys. Take care and have a good day, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.